Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to show you a quick video, uh, I mean to make a quick video of uh, the pigments and plants and leaves and why leaves change color in the fall. So if you remember that, uh, that graph that we have here of absorption and here like the wavelength And really quickly, I'm going to use different colors to show you that. The chlorophyll, and it's going to be butchering it, but the chlorophyll is something like that. Uh, the carotenoids and anthocyanin is something more like that. Right? And so notice how nothing is absorbing around here. What's around here in the wavelengths, if you look at, a, at your graph, this is where the green colors are. So since no pigments in plants absorb that wavelength, this is the wavelength that is reflected to our eyeballs, and this is why we see plants green, literally, because they don't use that energy in that wavelength, right? So now that we have that out of the way, why do we see plant leaves, uh, the leaves turning color in the fall, becoming more red, orange and yellow, like those anthocyanin colorations. Well, think about it this way. If you're a tree, and, you, and the way they detect the change of season trees is the change of, of light, so since the sun is not at the same height in the fall and in the spring or in the summer and the winter, when it becomes the fall, the trees detect the change of light, especially the number of hours in the day when light is shed upon them. And so detecting that, trees are like, oh, becoming winter, and better shut down the photosynthesis systems and stop doing that, going in dormancy until we have a better condition in the spring. So it's not that the trees know that the cold is coming, they just know that less light is coming and it's not going to be warm in photosynthesis because you're going to be exposed to the elements. And so bottom line, if you think about evolution, trees that were not doing that dormancy they were literally dying in the winter, so they're not here to tell the story anymore. Remember, no intent. Only the trees that are left doing the thing that allows them to survive are still around and pass the genes on. That's evolution. So now that we know that, would you actually just shed a full leaf? I mean, some trees might have done that, but then some trees came about that were actually recovering some of that energy by recovering the chloroplast away, so taking all those chloroplasts, all those green pigments back into the tree trunk, because those are energy and you don't want to waste it if you don't have to, right? So when you do that, what happens, and actually that's how I'm going to explain it best, is that anthocyanin is actually going almost to zero in that area here. And, and we low over there and almost to zero over here. So what's happening is trees are taking back all the nutrients and leaving in the leaves only the carotenoid, the photoprotective pigments. And those, those photoprotective pigments absorb a lot in the bluish green area and really few here in the yellow orange and back there in the reddish area. So at the end of the day, that's why you see them red, orange, and yellow, because they absorb blue and green, and they absorb dark orange, red, a little bit, but not so much. And those actually are anthocyanin. If you look at what carotenoids absorption is, is the yellow in your slide, and it's literally here, and boom. So it does not absorb any of orange, yellow, and red. And that's why the leaves change color in the fall, because trees recover most of the nutrients, leave the photoprotective pigment they don't need, and those photoprotective pigment tend to not absorb in those lights. Why don't they absorb in those lights? They only need to protect photosynthesis, and the photosynthesis, the chloroplast, remember, absorbs in the blue, a little bit along here, and then mostly in the red, not in the green. That's why we see them green. So the the Anthocyanin is absorbing the rest of the bad energy that would destroy the photosynthesis system. So really, those photoprotective pigments, they work like a melanin uh, in your skin that absorb the sun. And how does that work? Well, the sun rays heat uh, 
uh, your skin and they literally destroy the melanin instead of destroying your cells. And that's happening exactly the same in the leaves. The sun hits and those anthocyanin and, and uh, carotenoid pigments are destroyed instead of destroying photosynthesis systems and chlorophyll. So now that we have all that understanding, we know why leaves change color in the fall because trees recover those photoproductive pigments because they're really useful, leave the photoprotective pigments because anyway they're just there to be destroyed by the sun. And now there is one last question that I will answer in the next video, but I'm going to ask it now. Why is chlorophyll absorbing here in the bluish color and here in the reddish color? Why is those, why are those two wavelengths, that one here and that one here, the wavelengths that are used by photosynthesis to actually harness the energy of the sun. Why those and not anywhere else? We know that the other wavelengths carry energy as well, right? So why only those two? And I'm going to answer that in the next video. Or maybe not the next thing, the one after. In the videos this week, you'll get the answer. Okay, you guys take care. I'll see you next time.